What's up, the viewers? Here is Danny from Sigbiker Studio. Just as promised, today we compare the SRAM XX1 about $1200 Eagle group set from Amerida to the $520 GX, also Eagle, so 12 speed. Uh, first off, I'm gonna just show you a couple of uh, things on my bike and then most of the parts I'm just uh, taking off the bike and we'll compare those closely to GX we just talked about during the live event. And also during the live, you started asking me questions, Dan, should I upgrade from my NX11 speed or GX11 speed to 12 speed on the GX Eagle? Well, let's see the comparison and then you will understand my answer to that at the end. Is it okay with you if I don't remove just two parts from my bike? That would be the shifter and the chain, okay? So if you're fine with this, let's proceed to the comparison. Uh, I must tell you just at the beginning of this comparison that I do like the direction that SRAM engineers have taken uh, when designing the GX Eagle, XX1 Eagle and X01 Eagle, which is just in between those two group sets. And that means we don't really get much less performance with the cheaper group sets. We mostly get just more weight. So less uh, weight on the XX1, a bit more on the X01 and the most on the GX, but the feel, for example, on the shifters is pretty much the same. I've been telling you that these perform very nicely. There's good feedback on those, uh, and it works so light that I would sometimes overshoot uh, when changing the gears. Uh, and if we look at the GX shifter versus XX1 shifter, these are not identical. Uh, the angle of uh, this uh, lever is a little bit different than on the GX, but this whole clicking mechanism and releasing me mechanism, it feels almost the same. So I wouldn't be surprised having the same mechanism inside there. Uh, the difference will be, of course, a little bit different uh, shaping of this, of this body. Here we have alloy, carbon with titanium uh, bolts and here we have steel and alloy so this will be heavier unfortunately i'm not gonna wait uh, this one for you i'm just gonna wait uh, the uh, gx but really pretty much the feel is the same we can change up to five gears going upwards uh, up the cassette uh, and also uh, both are compatible with the matchmaker so as you can see i have one clamp and on this clamp there is the braking lever, the lockout for my uh, fork and rear shock and uh, my shifter. But of course, we can also use just the clamp for, for our shifter alone. So not much difference. The feel pretty much the same. I do like it. Uh, as I said, I do prefer Shimano shifters with their systems, but this feels very, very good. So let's proceed to the chain. Surprise, surprise, my bike isn't super clean today. I'm sorry for that. I've been pretty busy with training. <laughs> so not, not so much time for, for just um, polishing the bike. This is the Eagle XX1 chain, the gold one. This is our GX Eagle chain. The differences. Uh, SRAM say that their Eagle XX1 chain with the nickel and with the uh, chrome uh, outer plates and uh, chrome hardened uh, pins. This is the most resistant chain for the for the wear, so for the elongation. Uh, this one, they don't uh, say it about it, so we, we have different treatment for those uh, plates and here we have nickel plates um, uh, finishing. But the inner plates, which is the black one on the GX and also gold one on the uh, XX1, uh, these don't have sharp edges. So there's no sharp, sharp edges on those, so that um, those will engage very nicely and quietly uh, on the uh, sprockets, the cassette and on the chainrings chain ring, uh, on the crankset. And I do confirm that. I'm going to show you that also in the second. So this one will be heavier most likely for sure uh, also the pins here on the on the xx1 are hollow here we don't have the uh, hollow pins i i'm really i'm really curious uh, finding out how many kilometers we can do uh, on the xx1 chain but the gx 
works very very beautifully uh, on the Cranksys. So I'm not just having this one, the, the new one, but a couple of bikes I've been reviewing for you this year were specced with GX, so I know how it works. Moving on to the table, let's start with the shifter. GX shifter with the cable weighs some 122 grams on my scale. Uh, as I said, five up the cassette, one by one down the cassette, and the shifting mechanism feel feedback pretty much the same as on the XX1. Uh, also, the cable I was trying to compare this uh, to, to the XX1 and it feels the smoothness and how it looks like uh, as it was the same exact cable. The derailleur, let's start with the GX. GX uh, 290 grams and then XX1 will be 266 grams which is about 25 grams lighter. Let's see the technologies here. As I told you pretty much the same technologies here but the GX Eagle will be considerably heavier than the XX1 Eagle. When we just look at those derailleurs those look pretty much the same. Huge capacity for, for 12 speed and 50 teeth, uh, the lowest uh, gear. Uh, those have the X actuation, X sync, and all the other um, technologies, which, which I'm not even trying to memorize. But what really works, and I can tell you, is that these pulleys are the most advanced derailleur pulleys on the market, both for road and, and mountain bike. The narrow white pattern here, here will guide the chain very nicely. Uh, the tension of those, when we try to, to move the derailleurs, feels exactly the same. And also, both derailleurs will have this roller type 3 bearing clutch. As I said, these feel smoother than the Shimano clutch. Uh, don't make the shifting that, that hard or edgy, I don't know if, if you can call it like that. And also we have these pulleys right here, which will eliminate the friction of the cable which comes down here to the derailleur and then turns to the mounting bolt. Same exact uh, pulley on both derailleurs. Also the systems for removing the wheel is the same now and this lock has been moved uh, and it's hidden now. Uh, because if you just hit the, the, the derailleur, some obstacles, anything in the, on the trails, this is now more hidden. As you can see, pretty much same looking derailleurs. Here we have alloy and steel. Here we've got alloy, carbon and titanium. Uh, the spring on the derailleur is uh, titanium. And of course, the one on the GX is uh, made of steel. Let's try to compare how they feel, they feel the same really. They do feel the same, even though we've got different materials here, they do feel the same. So, very stable derailleurs, very silent operation, smooth working, I do like those, in my opinion, these could be the best derailleurs in terms of the technology on the market right now. The cassette. GX, all steel cogs with the, with the 123 pins, 447 grams, cool, with the 10 uh, up to 50 uh, teeth cogs and now XX1, 369. The gold ones are steel, the black one, the largest one is made of aluminum, the gold one, one block of steel. The cassettes and their design. Here we've got the GX Eagle, here we have XX1 Eagle. If you've been riding SRAM drivetrains for some years, you know the previous models of 10-speed uh, cassettes, which were made of one piece of the material, really awesome. Here we have very interesting version of that. This, this, this is XX1 Eagle. This golden part is made of one piece of one block of material. This is steel. And then the, the largest one and thus the, the heaviest one it would be is made of 
uh, aluminum alloy. So it will kind of lock close the whole construction here with those pins right here. So this is one block of the material plus the uh, alloy um, uh, largest or lowest gear. And here on the GX it looks pretty much the same, uh, but this is made in the cheaper manner and so a little bit heavier as well. Uh, we have 123 different pins that will connect all these uh, sprockets, which is pretty awesome. So this one, the largest one here is made of steel, not alloy as on the XX1, uh, but still it looks very, very similar, which I like so much. When looking at all these teeth, uh, you can see how little of the material there is, in some places especially, but also each teeth will have different shape. I think uh, the design on GX and XX1 is the same. So both will work pretty well. The gear change uh, performance is very good. I'm gonna make that episode, uh, I promise you, comparing that to Shimano. And also uh, you were asking about 3642 gear change. Some say that there is a problem there. I don't have it, but we'll see. Maybe it's slower here. Uh, but anyway, uh, the chain is engaging on these uh, sprockets here very nicely. The operation is smooth and silent. Uh, and you can see a lot of work and hours put into designing these cassettes. The chain, the new uncut chain. I don't know how many links we've got here. Uh, with two power locks, 285 grams. The crank set, GX crank set. So let's put it like this with both arms, 639. It's not really, it's not heavy. 639 with these shims here, so 640 as you can see. And then the X1 feels really feather light. Um, both arms, 474, feather light. Maybe the arms itself, the GX arm is 216 grams and the XX1 both 175 millimeters of a length, 143, a lot of difference. Now the crank sets. Uh, when looking at these teeth, these don't look identical. The problem is that uh, my XX1 crank set is the prototype, so it might be different when you buy it in store. But anyway, we do have the Nero White uh, pattern, and and these teeth look so different from from any other chain rings you would see from any other manufacturers. Uh, I had no problems with um, chain dropping or, or uh, the mud or the dirt pushing the chain off the chain ring. No problem here. Silent operation, as I said, and I do like the design. Of course, here we have uh, carbon arms and the alloy arms. Let's look at those. So the XX1 will, oh, should I have it like this? <laughs> XX1 will be much lighter, as you already know, uh, than the uh, GX. XX1 means having carbon hollow uh, crank arms. They feel like weighing nothing. When you take the alloy GX1, which is not made in the hollow um, technology, is uh, much heavier. The stiffness of the XX1 is absolutely awesome. The GX1, I didn't really pay attention to, to that when riding the bikes uh, spec with, with GX, but um, I would say the most difference on all the parts comparing GX and XX1 Eagle would be right here uh, on the crankset. And they're the same type of, of mounting for those, uh, for those chain rings, three millimeters uh, of offset. Some have been asking me three T25 Torx uh, bolts for mounting those and also oval chain ring option. And this is the uh, prototype. So I'm not sure whether it, it hasn't changed uh, until now, it might. And so finally the question, Dan, should I upgrade from my 
NX11 speed or GX11 speed to the GX Eagle because this is new, this is affordable, this is not that expensive? Um, my answer is probably no. The only questions, the question you should ask yourself, in my opinion, uh, is do you really need the 12th uh, gear? If you are, if you like climbing, if you want to have one by drivetrain uh, and you need gear for steep climbs, then this 50 teeth uh, sprocket will help you a lot because with 32 in the front, 50 in the rear, you are doing pretty much anything in any terrain. Uh, otherwise, I, I don't think uh, you, you would benefit so much from upgrading to GX. Now, if you think about buying a whole drivetrain, one by drivetrain, then I would say yes, GX is a great option for you. The XX1 is uh, much more expensive. This is, this is the stuff for those who are racing and those who need the lighter bike. Uh, in order to save those 5 watts and win over, over their competitors. Uh, for us amateur cyclists, if you have your FTP up to 300 watts, it doesn't make so much difference uh, for you. What I like, as I said, is that there is no diff not so much difference in the performance, if at all, between XX1 and GX. So GX is really cool option, just heavier, uh, but it has the beautiful clutch, those great pulleys, uh, this little nice pulley for the cable uh, and stable uh, derailleur and it has 12 speed. Uh, it has this, all these cutouts uh, in the cassette even though it's not made of one block of material. So this is really interesting option. For about $500, um, me, Dan from Sig Biker Studio, I do recommend GX Eagle, that's for sure. And in the future episode, we're gonna compare how it really shifts comparing to the uh, Shimano XTR derailleur I have with XT cassette. I hope you enjoyed this. I can answer some more questions in the comments. You've been watching Sick <coughs> Biker.